creatures like this that help Africa's biggest killer do its work. But here in this laboratory, they're being bred to help in the fight against malaria. The mosquitoes are fed blood, infected with a malaria parasite, and then studied throughout their short lives. One of them one day could lead to malaria's eradication. The female of Anopheles species, carriers of the malaria parasite. Yeah, these ones, they breed so much during the rainy season, they breed a lot. And as I said, the, the temperatures have to be very high for them to, to breed. So, so long as the temperatures are quite high, they, 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 will be, they, they will breed and you'll get a lot of mosquitoes. But when they, there's a lot of rain and the, uh, there's a lot of floods everywhere, that time we, the mosquitoes will be a bit lower. The Anopheles don't live long, maybe seven days, but they only need bite once to do the damage. Kenya has set a target of reducing malaria deaths by 30% over the next year. So the work here is high pressure and intense. We've been doing a lot of monitoring in terms of the efficacy of bed nets that are in use, um, the efficacy of the drugs that are being used in indoor residue spraying. Uh, we've been into trying to improve the diagnostic procedures. One of our teams in Kisumu has a center of excellence when it comes to microscopy. So training our public health workers and all that to, be, to make sure that they do the diagnosis well, promptly, so that the treatment may be effective. And obviously also here in Nairobi, we're doing a lot of new drug development, coming, trying to come up with newer you know, drugs that will be useful. One vaccine is showing promise. It's currently under test in Kisumu, west of Nairobi, where malaria is endemic. Kimani says it has a 40 to 60 percent success rate, a fast malaria vaccine to reach that level. But he says people must also help themselves stay free of the disease. Use the net well, rush to the hospital in, the, in case the child has fever, take them back for, for, for follow up after the first treatment and all that. It is um, a pole there, it's somebody there that will drain that stagnant water that is just rushed outside their houses. You know, it, is, it takes a concerted effort. The numbers dying in Kenya from malaria have fallen in recent years, but it remains one of the leading causes of fatalities here. Sony Matthew, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.